at Shannon. Mm. Should the Eagles keep Foles next year? No. They've invested too much in Carson Wentz. You know they gave they mortgaged the farm, mm -hmm. their future in this young man. And uh, he's gonna, he still has two years on a rookie deal. And you can't keep Foles. You can't keep a $20 million backup because he's not going to be the starter. Okay. And even if you wanted to, Skip, he can pay $2 million of the signing bonus that he got originally and still become a free agent. Good. I believe Nick Foles wants to start. I think he's in his heart of hearts, he's like, yes, I've won the Super Bowl. I've shown you I can do it. Now I need to find me a home. It's got to be the right home, Skip. He just can't go mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. He needs to find him a home and go and, and go play somewhere. But I do not believe it's going to be in Philly. I believe Philadelphia Eagles have hitched their wagon to Carson Wentz. That's why they moved heaven and earth to move up to the number two slot to select him, uh, the second pick overall. And I don't think they regret that decision. Um, unlike the Ravens, Skip, I believe once they made that switch to Lamar, I believe once they selected Lamar Jackson, they were like, after this year, we're moving on. Yeah. I do not believe they've had internal discussions mm -hmm. at this point about do we keep Wentz or do we keep Foles. I don't believe they've had that discussion. I just believe that once Wentz is fully healthy, and normally it takes a year, not immediately after, but the following year after the surgery, mm -hmm. is that when we'll see the best Carson Wentz. And so with that being said, Skip, no, Wentz is the future. I'm going to let Foles, you, you congratulate him, you wish him well for what he's been able to do, mm. but I'm not, I'm not giving up on a 24-year-old mm. quarterback. Mm. Mm. So, I'm going to say something that will not happen, but you're asking me what would I do? Sure. <laughs> I would pay Nick Foles and I would trade Carson Wentz. And people say, that's just crazy, and it's not because the circumstances continue to scream at you, this quarterback plays quarterback better than this quarterback does. And this quarterback can stay healthier than this quarterback can stay because Carson Wentz, he's injury plagued. Every time I turn around, something else is a little or a lot wrong. He was hurt in college. All the way back to college. So it's scary to go forward. At some point, pretty soon, you're going to have to bet the whole ranch, not just your draft ranch. You're going to have to bet your salary cap ranch on Carson Wentz. Well, they did the same thing with Andrew Luck, and it turned right. out quite well. Okay. Well, it is lately, but it didn't for a long time, yeah, right? That, that's the thing. you okay. got to be willing to roll the dice. You could be right. So Nick... Foles is still 29 years of age, though he's about to turn 30. But to me, he's just entering his prime as a quarterback. Right. So let's step back and look at his body of work. In regular season games, he's thrown 68 touchdown passes to only 33 interceptions. Is that good? Two to one is always good. Okay, that's really good. In playoff games, he's thrown 10 touchdowns to only three interceptions. That's really three good. Three to one is even better. In five playoff games, his QBR is 79, almost 80. So that scale of zero to 100, trust me, that's really, really good. So we saw him back in 2013 in his first playoff game in Philadelphia against Drew Brees. He played really well that night. It was a cold, windy night, and he threw two touchdowns to no interceptions and threw a touchdown to Zach Ertz that put them ahead 24 to 23 with four minutes left, and Drew Brees got the football and went boom, 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 and ate the whole clock all the way down to a walk-off field goal by Shane Graham, mm -hmm. and they lost by one point, uh, two points, I think, 26 to 24. So the point is, that was his first playoff game. Then we saw him last year. He beat the defending NFC champ, Atlanta, right? That was yep. at home. Then he beat Jenny's Vikings, the number one defense defense in football last year. He just torched them. And then he beat Belichick and Brady in the Super Bowl. And then this year, you could say, well, those are all like road or neutral site games. What did he just do? He went and beat the number one scoring defense in all football, Chicago, in Chicago. Well, well, that was sensational. That's the best game any quarterback has played in the playoffs so far this year. Well, is that not good? Is that not enough body of work where you say, wait a second, this guy's just a little better at playing quarter. If I do the vacuum, Carson Wentz has a stronger arm. He's got a bigger strapping body. He can run a little better when he's healthy, but he's never quite healthy. So I, I'm just saying, every time I watch Nick Foles play, I say he can play the position. He's six feet, six inches tall. He can see over the defense, and he just has a feel for this offense that is spectacular to watch. What he did against Belichick's defense, 41 points, that alone should tell you. I've done you, Tom Brady. That's what impressed me. Uh, yeah. But anyway, first of all, the Eagles are projected $13 million over the cap, which mm -hmm. is worse than the NFL. Okay, so you can't do that. You can't keep both of them. So let me you ask can't you, have it both ways. But yeah. you're assuming 
that Nick Foles is going to be willing to play for $20 million. No, I don't know. He's like, hold on, I want a okay. Super Bowl. All right. Jimmy Garoppolo, Matthew Stafford, none of those guys have won Super Bowls. So I'm not paying for $20 million. So if you're at $13 million right now, he's going to want $25, $30 million. Mm-hmm. Okay. You wouldn't well, do that? He's a starting quarterback. Yeah, on another team. Okay. Because I'm walking to him, I'm going to be okay. back healthy. Really? Walking to him, I'm going to come back and win the MVP. Well, is he going to uh, limp to the MVP or what? Limp there to you him? Go, Skip. Well, I don't know. You do know. know. I'm not sure. He about will it. be 100% healthy. He gonna be just like Andrew Luck. Mm. Andrew Luck got healthy, and what happened? Mm. Thirty-nine, fifteen happened in the divisional round of the mm. playoffs. I see a very similar scenario for Walker Tour. All I know is my Dallas Cowboys turned their season around when they went to Philadelphia and beat Walker Tour, and then Walker Tour came to Dallas, and my Cowboys did it again. They beat him twice, and when he and Dak were rookies, he lost to the Cowboys, and then they just mailed it in in the second game. So I. And in the right. second year, what happened? Walking to him, beat the brakes off in right. Dallas on a Sunday night. You remember, Skip? No Zeke, no Sean Lee. No Ty Smith. You ain't got yeah. Sean Lee now. I ain't yeah. heard you don't even mention Sean Lee. Well, I got a better Sean Lee. I got the Wolf Hunter. Oh, I got Leighton Vander. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I now. Say, please oh, do it. Sean, oh, Sean Lee, you it. hear that? Now, this man done heat mm. praise on you yep. for the last three years. And now he said he don't need you. Mm. He got Leighton Vander edge. Mm. Out of, out of Pocatello, Idaho. Yeah, all I know is I pity the Philadelphia Eagles because this is a quandary. This this is this is tough, <laughs> especially if he goes and beats the they Saints. They get it done. Woo! What how are you going to do? How complicated does this get? Do, do, do you know how much consternation this is going to cause? Do you know how this is going to haunt this franchise? Because what if he goes somewhere else and keeps doing this? What if Carson Wentz turns out brittle? What if he goes somewhere else and does what he did yep. and come back to Philly? Mm. Which was nothing. Know. Well, he didn't do much. Exactly. I, I agree with that. But boy, on big stages and the biggest games you can play, hard. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give I'll give him a five million dollar for outgunning Tom Brady. Yeah, that worth five million huh. right there. Well, he outgunned Brady when Brady threw for five hundred and five yards, the most anybody's ever thrown for in any playoff game. Three seventy three huh. in them crucial tough. And he caught a touchdown. Yo got dropped the touchdown. He did not drop the touchdown. Down. It was an overthrow. Oh, a uh, 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 Foles. Foles. Yeah. Foles. Mm. Philadelphia. Mm. Put that in the pocket. Foles he said, give me that. He said, give me that. One hand caught yep. it, one hand, Jenny. Yep. He said, give me that. Put it in the back pocket. <laughs> yep, you're making my but case. They should go about. forward with Nick Foles. Well, maybe they should go. Hey, maybe Coach Belichick should trade for him and bring him to New England. Hmm. Uh, you was 80, 29. Mm-hmm. But Shannon, you never really bring up how this affects Wentz. And mm. that's what I think is interesting because I mm. know you want the team to have success. But I, no, but yeah. In the back of his head, he's got to be. Hi, hi Roseman on the phone with him, talking to him all the time. Hey. Is he? Don't be listening to Skip Bayless. Me mm. and uh, uh, Jeffrey Lewis, who's the owner of the Philadelphia okay. Eagles. We, we got you back. Yeah. Yep. You're going to play one more year. Yep. And then we're going to tear your contract up. And we're going to okay. give you like $150 well, you, you, million. You better get that's rid of Nick Foles though. because you can't have Nick Foles standing on the sideline with that kid out there struggling. He ain't gonna be struggling. Yeah. Stop saying that. Huh? Well, he did this. Just because you just say it doesn't make it true. Uh, what do you think Eagle fans are thinking? Dallas beat us twice, and and it was with Carson Wentz. Well, you didn't talk about you didn't uh, talk about replacing Dak. Uh, well, he was struggling. Well, he didn't struggle that much. They yes, went he nine did. and seven. Boy, we've got okay. a big weekend. Uh, That's struggling. Oh, I'm already excited. <sighs> Me too. So many games. Come on, come on, Rams. Okay, we are going to switch gears yeah. because King James still out. But are the Lakers back on track without him? We'll discuss mm. next.